So welcome to a short tutorial video that is going to derive a formula for the instantaneous value of I in this small DC circuit and the circuit contains a voltage source BS, a resistor R, an inductor L and a switch and here I'm indicating the instantaneous value of I with respect to T. So why would I need to find the instantaneous value of I? Well this very simple and rather messy diagram is showing the growth of I with respect to T across that inductor. So when I first turn the switch on, T will equal naught and I in the inductor will equal zero. And as time increases, so the value of I increases up to a maximum, uh, which is the maximum of the circuit, and that maximum <coughs> is V over R. So where do I start with the proof? So let's write down a formula for uh, the voltage in this circuit. So I have got Bs equals Ri with respect to T plus L Di dt and that indicates that growth, that exponential growth here. So where am I going to start with this? Well what I really want to do is get to the point where I can integrate this such that um, I can then have a value uh, for i. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, subtract r little i from both sides of the equation so I now have V minus Ri equals LDI dt. I'm now going to divide by R and you'll see as soon as I do that in this first part of this expression something familiar pops up V over R minus little i, I've started to separate i out, equals L over R di dt. And I hope you spotted, like I did, that this expression here, V over R equals big I. So I'm now going to substitute big I into this and see where that now takes us. I've now got I minus li equals L over R di dt. Which using some cross multiplication I can rewrite that formula so that I get R over L dt equals di over I minus I. Now I encourage you to pause the video here and see if you can work out that move and it is literally a cross multiplication of R and I over I um, and the uh, DI and the DT to get us to this point here because it's at this point that we now do our integration and we integrate both sides of this formula. So the integration of R over L DT uh, with respect to T is going to be RT over L so I'm going to write that down here R 
t over l equals and of course 1 over i minus i is the negative natural log of i minus i and don't forget plus c so we're now at the point where we can say okay at the moment that the switch is closed so at the moment that the switch is closed t equals 0 and at that point i equals 0 and under those conditions c, that's this c here therefore equals LNI. Now I can plug that in, um, that LNI in for uh, C, so I now have RT over L equals minus LN I minus Li plus LNI. which with some cancellations that equals ln i gathering up some terms, we'll gather up the i's and cancel out the ln's uh, or that negative ln i get i over i minus little i so at this point I can now say um, if I take the if I use my logs that we've that I that we know with that ln and I've got that R and T on this side of the equation and I've got this on this side of the equation I should have now E to the minus RT over L equals I over I minus little i. And don't forget what I'm trying to do is get little i. So if I write little i down here, that equals big I because I've now taken that out of the of the uh, uh, of rationalised the two i's. I've got i. 1 minus e to the minus rt over l and that is known as Helmholtz equation let me write that down for you Helm equation so that gives us our bottom line the final equation at the bottom let me just put a box around that I'll put a box around the whole thing oops a daisy Press the button then when I shouldn't have done. There are of course other ways uh, that you can um, come to that equation. So if I started at the beginning and said that uh, where we said V equals Ri plus L Di T, if you remember that right from the beginning then if I were to rearrange that equation so let me put that into a rearranged equation so I've got di dt plus 
RI over L equals BS over L and of course that's an S there then I've got that in a format that looks very much like di dt plus pt equals qt and that allows me to use the integration factor to derive the same answer and I'm going to leave you to do the rest of that using the integration factor um, I got the circuit and this proof from Hughes uh, edition 6 uh, which was revised by Ian McKenzie Smith and that concludes this particular tutorial.